Hey, it's VR Link here, and today I'm going to show you how to get your first VR gaming PC and exactly what you'll need. Now, when you talk about any gaming PC, there are two things that you need to figure out if you want it pre built or if you just want to build it yourself. And to be honest, either is fine because it all depends on what you need and what you actually feel comfortable with. Now, I myself just got my first VR gaming and streaming PC. When you buy a pre-built PC, you should definitely know what you're getting into and what all of the specs means. So just because you're buying a pre-built doesn't mean that you don't need to know anything about PCs at all. Do not go into this not knowing anything because that will just hurt you and you're probably going to end up spending a lot more money when you don't need to. The reason why I ended up getting a pre-built PC is because I wasn't really comfortable enough to put together a whole PC by myself, but I still wanted to learn uh, eventually in the future. And you'll find a lot of people doing this because PCs are completely upgradable. So just because you got certain things in your PC now does not mean that you're not able to upgrade it. So if you're someone who wants to get comfortable but you're not ready yet, buying one is perfectly understandable and reasonable. Now, if you're someone who really likes to just put things together and just figure things out, then I would say go ahead and just get the parts for your PC and put together and build it because it's going to be cheaper. And if you really think you can do it, then just do it. It's an awesome experience and I would definitely recommend doing it now that I know a bit more um, with my PC. So if you think you can do it, go ahead and do it. It's going to be awesome and I wish you luck. A great website that I recommend you going to if you want to build your own PC or maybe upgrade some parts is Newegg.com and also use a part picker website as well. The reason why I'm saying to use a part picker website is because not all computer parts can interact with each other or go together. So I would definitely recommend using a part picker website before you actually buy and purchase uh, all the parts for your PC build. So since we are talking about websites for PC parts and just PCs in general, I would definitely have to recommend iBuyPower because that is the website I used to purchase my VR gaming PC. Now this video is not sponsored by them at all. I wish it was, but it's not. It's just the website I used and it was actually uh, really cool and a cool experience getting my first pre-built PC with them. And honestly, their customer service was very, very good. Um, and I did do some research on this website before I used it. I went on uh, Reddit a lot to see what everyone was saying in the community about this website. So definitely do your research depending on whatever website you pick. But I used iBuyPower and I liked it. There was some hiccups and I'll explain that later on in the video, but I definitely uh, recommend uh, using iBuyPower. And I do have a code in the description below if you want to use that code for iBuyPower. Go ahead and check that out. I also do have to mention that my PC is a custom pre-built PC. So it's not just a regular pre-built that you can just click on it and that's the one you're going to get. I customized every single thing in this PC for exactly what I wanted. Now, the first thing you're going to look for when building a VR gaming PC or any PC for that matter is what type of graphics card you're going to get or what type of GPU you're going to get. Now, personally, I got the NVIDIA RTX 3070, but you don't necessarily have to get this exact graphics card. You can honestly get pretty much anything in the RTX line. I would recommend anything from 3060 and up. You can also get an AMD card, which is the competitor to NVIDIA, but honestly, I don't really know too much to tell you a lot about their cards because I focus more on NVIDIA. They give you a lot more features, but if you want to, you can definitely uh, look it up yourself and do some research if you want to get maybe into getting one of their graphics cards. Now, if you want a quick hack for looking into pre-built PCs, you can just look up the graphics card that you want and you should be able to find uh, the PC that has that graphics card. Or if you find yourself just looking at a list of computers, focus on the graphics card first. Next, I would look into the CPU of the computer. That's basically the brains of the computer. When it comes to CPUs, I am a Intel guy, but you can also get a AMD CPU as well. Yeah, I know I'm basic, 
but I do like Intel and usually they have the best chips around, but sometimes uh, AMD might have the best chip. So you just have to look around. Also, when you're looking into CPUs, some of them have integrated graphics and some of them don't. Integrated graphics means that you can use your computer without a graphics card. This can be very useful if you think your graphics card is malfunctioning or you wanna test out if your graphics card is the actual problem or maybe something else in your PC. If you want to use your integrated graphics, all you have to do is take out your graphics card. So if you have an RTX graphics card or a AMD graphics card, you'll just take that out and then you can use the graphics that's on the CPU. Now you may be wondering if your CPU can have integrated graphics, why do you need a separate graphics card? Well, that's because integrated graphics are not as strong as a graphics card that is made to actually process intense graphics. Since you are making a gaming PC, you don't necessarily have to have a CPU with integrated graphics because you're already going to have a graphics card. But personally, I just get it just in case. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is the RAM. Now, RAM stands for Random Access Memory. Basically, the more RAM you have, the easier it is for your computer to access random files faster. So in turn, the more RAM you have, the faster your computer is going to be. But for the average person, 16 gigs is more than enough. Personally, I do have two 16 gig RAM sticks, equaling 32 gigs of RAM. Now, the reason why I added that much is because I do plan on streaming and maybe doing some other tasks with my computer. So if you possibly do anything like graphic designing or video editing on the computer you plan to use VR with, then I will just update your RAM and get a little bit more. Now, the next thing you're going to want to look into is memory or storage. So this is completely different from RAM. This basically holds all of the files that are on your computer. Now, when it comes to storage, I recommend a solid state drive or a SSD. Now, as you can see, there are two different types of SSDs. The first type of SSD is called a SATA drive SSD. These are usually really cheap and more affordable and you can find them a lot pretty much everywhere. The second type of memory is called an NVMe. So this is a bit faster and a bit more expensive. Now when picking either of these, make sure to get no less than one terabyte of memory. There is one thing that I did not mention and that is the hard disk drive because you honestly should not get this. It's really old school and it's a lot slower than both of those SSDs. So if you had to pick, I would definitely pick any of those SSDs than a hard disk drive. The next thing you should definitely look into is your PC cooling. Cooling is one of the most important things when it comes to building a PC because if your PC is too hot, it'll become very slow and it will gradually degrade your PC. If you're building a custom pre-built PC, it's very good to do some research into the cooling it already has, and you may want to add some more cooling. You should note that a lot of new computer cases come with fans, so you'll be doing research into additional cooling. The next thing you're going to have to look into is how you're going to connect your VR headset to your PC. Personally, I can do this wirelessly because I do have a good wireless router, and a Quest 2. But if you don't think you can actually do it wirelessly, then I would definitely recommend uh, figuring out how you would be connecting your VR headset to your computer. I do know a lot more uh, VR headsets are using USB-C, but some older headsets may be using a different route to connect to your computer. So definitely do that research to see how you're going to connect your uh, VR headset to your gaming computer. Now, one last thing that I do have to touch on is when you are buying a pre-built computer, be careful when it comes to the shipping. Now, earlier in this video, I did say I got a pre-built custom computer from iBuyPower and there was one big hiccup. I'm going to be completely honest, I was completely aware that this hiccup was a big possibility because again, I was on Reddit and I was doing some research before I did use this website. So the big hiccup was that when I got my computer, my GPU or graphics card was basically completely dead on arrival. And again, I did know that this was a problem, so it wasn't too big of a surprise to me. So I wasn't like totally shocked, but it is something that can happen and something that can take up a lot of time. Personally, a good friend of mine, Real Kuma Ken, he's a, a Twitch streamer, a really awesome Twitch streamer. You guys should definitely 
um, check him out. Um, he actually helped me troubleshoot to see what was the problem because he also had a uh, VR gaming PC. He's had one longer than me, so he has a lot more uh, history and knowledge behind uh, gaming PC. So I actually learned quite a bit from him. Anyway, uh, he helped me troubleshoot it, so I was able to figure out what was the actual problem. But once I figured out what was the problem, all I had to do was call iBuyPower, and it was super easy to get in contact with them and tell them the problem. And then they just shipped me a new graphics card that I just had to reinstall myself and then send them back the old one. And I had express shipping, so it literally took like three days to get it. So it wasn't really a lot of time that I did have to wait. But I honestly also did not know that this was an option. You can actually select to have them ship your graphics card separately in their original box so nothing really happens when it comes to transportation and then you can install it yourself if you feel comfortable with that option. So if you get a pre-built PC, I definitely recommend that option. And if you're worried about taking out and then installing a new graphics card, that is pretty much one of the easiest things uh, you can do when it comes to installing things into a PC. It's really quick and uh, honestly super easy and you can look up any video on YouTube that should be able to um, help you out. So um, if you feel comfortable with doing that, I would definitely recommend you do that as an option. If you want my exact build, here is everything that is in my PC VR build. And again, if you are building this yourself, you can probably get it for a lot cheaper than what I paid for uh, because I basically paid for someone to build it for me and ship it to me as well from all the way across the country because uh, I buy powers all the way in uh, California and I'm all the way in Florida. So if you want this PC very, very fast and you want to do it yourself, I recommend just using new egg and building it yourself. Again, I am going to put my iBuyPower referral link in the description below. So if you want to check them out, definitely use that link. Anyway, I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, please like and subscribe. It would really help the channel out. If you want to support the channel even more, become a member or join my Patreon. If you become a Patreon, you'll be able to get a shout out and see your name at the end of all of my videos as a supporter. If you want to contact me, put it in the comments below, or you can also contact me on my TikTok or Twitter. As always, thanks for watching and have a wonderful day or night. Peace out.